is going to be amazing. Here we go. I watched a couple of Quox fights here recently, and uh, he's a go-getter. He goes forward the whole time. He has crazy leg kicks, crazy spinning back fists, as we just saw right there. Jones really going for the takedown. Boom. Gets that takedown, but kind of lost position there for a split second. The, the brothers actually, they fight a lot alike. Uh, they're go, they love taking takedowns. They love uh, slamming. Uh, we're going to see probably a lot of uh, a lot of heavy hits once they uh, separate from this clinch. You know, you know, Trev is the type of fighter that he does exactly this. Presses you against the cage, looks to land shots, find his opening, take you down, and, and try to go for the finish. Yeah, I've seen... Uh, Seen Trevin put guys up on the on the cage and act like he's pushing, act like he's pushing, and then step back and he swings. And you know, if you're on the cage, you're you're thinking you're gonna get pressed, and when he lets go, you you know you, that split second, if you don't react, the fight game, you know, uh, ring control, cage control, just really pressing your opponent. Yeah, looks like Quak has a nice red mark on his face already as he goes for a spinning back kick, slips out of the way. Uh, Trevin Jones allows him to get back up. Really determined face on uh, Trevin Jones. You know, both these Jones guys are looking for a shot at the belt. Yeah, he definitely wants to get a title shot down the road. Ooh, flying knee coming from Quak, which looked like it was kind of blocked. A big Jones, takedown by double Jones. leg, slams him to the canvas. Nice takedown there for, for Jones. But, uh, you know, Korean top team is known for their ground game also, so Jones has to be careful that he doesn't uh, get locked up as uh, Quok's legs can go straight up and take him into an R bar or to a triangle choke. You see, as he's pushing down, he's going for that position. I look for Jones to keep in control and try to yeah, side mount game plan right there. Keep that head in the chest. If you're going to be on him, you got to keep that head in the chest. So only short, like I said, Korean team is known for using their legs. Oh, as he spins, takes his back almost there. The sweat's starting to come now. They're pretty slippery. Another Jones takedown for another Jones. Big takedown. Three for three for his takedowns here in the first round. Now, if you're now just joining us, this is PXC 47. We have had amazing fights so far tonight. Knockouts, submissions, uh, no decisions yet. It's been pretty, uh, pretty amazing, our first three fights. And now we got Trevin Jones taking on Juan Ho Kwok. Yeah, this is going to be a technical fight. If it does go the distance, it's going to be one of those fights that are going to be really hard to score. Yeah, and uh, Juan Ho Kwok has never gone the distance, so it's, it'll be a surprise if it does. As uh, we just been, I just saw that uh, Juan Ho Kwok just spit a tooth out. Looked like a piece of gum, but it was actually a tooth. So we know that he's taken a couple strong punches from Trevin Jones. That could have even been a, from that takedown, he could have, you know, hit it wrong. Yep. Wow. Bit down on his mouthpiece or something. As uh, Trevin Jones is trying to oppose his will, trying to get that uh, stronger position, trying to put him up against the cage, hold his hands, deliver some nice... Body shots a second ago with that right arm. You can't really see it. You know, this is really working in his favor. He's in the corner of his trainers and, and really getting some good advice. Yep, if they could uh, get over the, the voice of uh, Coach Oliver here. He's so loud as he finally delivers some nice shots to the head. Then he goes right back in, gets his head on the chest. See, this is a, one of the good techniques for uh, this position is keep your head low. Because uh, it's really hard to punch. Uh, for if you're on the bottom, it's really hard to punch, period. But it's even harder when the, the head's right on there. As he gets a reverse, wow. Quok stands up, gets loose, goes in with another knee to the body. Trevor goes right back to that clinch, though. Body lock. Got both underhooks as uh, Quok gets one under there. You know, Quok's a pretty big 135er. At the weigh-ins, he was just shredded and... and you know, still has some pretty nice size for a 135-pound fighter. Yeah. <laughs>
amazing first round. Yeah, so I'd have to give the round to Trevin Jones with the two big takedowns, a little flurry of punches. Um, you know, now, now it's interesting about Trevin Jones is, you know, he's a guy that really goes hard in the early round. And uh, conditioning right, is really going to be a factor for him with the pace he, he goes by. Yeah, Trevin came out pretty hard there uh, in the first first round, got those takedowns. And they weren't just uh, any little takedowns. Uh, he had them up above his shoulders, slamming down. Uh, but to be honest, that takes, that takes something out of both fighters. It's not just the person getting slammed. When you're picking up somebody that, that heavy, you know, 100 and... 35 pounds, that's not light. And then you're trying to slam him down. You're using a lot of energy. So, uh, you know, I'm looking for Quack uh, to come out, maybe with some leg kicks. Uh, I've seen a lot of his footage. He does loves the head kick. So let's see if he comes out and uh, throws a couple head kicks. <laughs> Round two underway here, PXC 47. Korean top team brought their uh, their own uh, film crew, man. Uh, he told me he was filming a movie for uh, for KTT, so uh, they got a lot going on there in KTT. Uh, he's always inviting me to come and train if I want to. Hopefully this coming year I would love to go there. As we did see, finally saw a head kick from Quack. It's a flying knee from Trevin Jones. Yeah, yeah, he's got to watch out for that flying knee when he goes in there for the takedown, and hopefully Quack doesn't land that flying. knee. Yeah, I mean, if you land that correctly, that could be lights out easily. You're going for a takedown, and the guy's coming up with he got force against force. We've seen a multiple m number of knockouts from that. Ooh, short little uh, right hands coming from Trevin Jones. Nice little right hands as Quack gives him a solid knee to the thigh. Quack actually has really good... Uh, Really good leg kicks. I was just about to say it. I was surprised we hadn't seen a number of leg kicks from him. From him. If he's getting hit with that right hand from uh, Trevin Jones, that little jab, if he takes out that lead leg, we all know that uh, it'll slow him down. Yeah, as, as we said that, you know, he's, he's going at it like crazy now with the leg kicks. Yeah, it looks like he's just winding up with that leg kick. Ooh. Wow. Spinning back kick again. This time it lands. It's on the chest. It wasn't at full extension, so not all the power was on it. Trevin Jones still has that determined look on his face. He eats another leg kick to the right lead leg. Left and right. It's coming from the out and in. Those leg kicks. Yeah, he's trying to keep another uh, one. Jones guessing for which way mm. it's coming. That leg's going to start to swell. Right leg of Trevin Jones. Trevin Jones needs to go back to that ground game, going for the takedown and get him down before he, uh, he loses his, his right leg. His corner's telling him to bring it to the cage, clinch it up. Once again, Quack just slips out, though, and another leg kick right to the inner part of the knee. Yeah, he, he circled out pretty good on that one and landed some legs. Yeah, uh, you know, it, we're saying that, you know, Trevin Jones goes by, ooh, as we heard that, everybody here in the field house heard that. Trevin goes by five-star. But uh, this Korean top team, we can easily say, is a five-star team with all the fighters that they're putting into all the organizations around the world. That was a solid leg kick that landed. Wow. And I wish I spoke a little bit of Korean so uh, we could uh, understand. hear what Coach Hall. Yeah. I, pr I pretty much can understand what he's saying, though, just because yeah. uh, knowing, you know, being around him, being able to grapple with him, being in a couple of their practices when they come to the Philippines, he's all about pressure. Yep. His guys listen to him, and that's why uh, his fighters have become champions. And they got strong wrestling background with that oh, yeah. KTT. You know, uh, we were talking about Coach Hall being a, a funny guy outside the cage. Ooh, it was a nice takedown leg sweep coming from Trevin Jones. Coach Hall, when it comes to uh, training, though, is as serious as they come. Quack's able to get up, and he turns. Watch for another leg kick as he goes high that time. It's partially blocked with the left hand of Trevin Jones. Quack's all about business here in the second round with these leg kicks. Just punishing the lead leg of Trevin Jones. 
Ooh, as he, as another one's kind of checked there, but still. Finally, we're seeing Trevin Jones actually back up where the first round he was charging straight forward. You know, and now Trevin's mouth is open Ooh. a lot more. Straight left hook coming from Quack. As Quack goes to the knee again, Trevin swings and miss. Quack's really starting to find his range and his takedown defense as he spreads. This is the best takedown defense you have. You got to get your thighs out. You got to get your legs out. As uh, Trevin's a little high now for anything, he's just kind of holding on, catching his breath. He doesn't look too worried about a guillotine choke or anything like that. Just really kept pressing. Yeah. He's starting to eat some elbows to the side of the head there, coming from Quack. Quack seemed pretty composed still. I mean, he's taking some shots. He's taking some nice slams. But uh, he's breathing his mouth open, so we know he is tired also. Trevin's trying to get some uh, control over that left ankle as he pulls. Almost takes him down again. Yeah, I think Jones is really trying to work the takedowns to rack up all those points. Yeah, as he, he gets those takedown points, uh, Kwok also is getting all those leg strikes. It's the end of, the, end of the second round. Sign of respect, third and final round here at PXC 47. Pretty, uh, pretty, pretty fun so far with how these guys are pushing the pace. Uh, I'm excited to be here with Dave. Thanks for uh, letting me commentate next to you, Dave. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, this is going to be a, a round where everything counts this last round for both fighters. Yep. Ooh. Nice shin to shin kick right there. Yep. It's time to put the heart out on the canvas and see who's going to step it up as Trevin takes a nice left and puts it over the top of the, the right shoulder of Quack. And then he goes straight into that clinch again. Uh, you know, this is important for uh, Trevin Jones because, uh, you know, as he's eating those, those leg kicks, he has to lock him up. But uh, we need to see something else once he locks it up. We've got to see one of those nice slams again, takedowns, and uh, more ground to pound. Just exactly how they train their Korean top team fighters. Pressure, pressure, pressure. That's exactly what Trevin Jones is doing here. Yeah, I'm interested to talk to Trevin and see what really his game plan uh, coming in against uh, one of the, the KTT guys really was. Because, I mean, man, you, you, you got a lot of force coming at you with these KTT guys. To eat the body shot, but he returns it with a nice right hand. He goes with that double leg again, but it kind of gets shut down by Kwok. Quack's uh, starting to pick up his uh, takedown defense. He's been able to turn out of it a number of times. You know, if he took his left hand and took it under that one arm and be able to spin him again, I'm sure he'd be able to spin out of it right away and then maybe do a, a knee right to the head of Trevin. Okay, safe zone. Ooh, he almost got that, that takedown again. Using a lot of energy, though, keeping, keeping on. You know, right now we should see some body shots coming from uh, Kwok as he does so. You know, you want to use this to get, uh, score points right now as we see some nice left elbows to the side of the head of Trevin Jones. Surprised we haven't heard uh, referee Tony yell at these guys and tell them to keep on going. Yep. Definitely got to watch the side of the head or the back of the head on those elbows. Trevin's really going for that takedown. You know, is it is it well spent or is it is it uh, exhaustion coming on? Nice under and under and over punches coming from Quack. Quack seems like he's doing okay. He's kind of taking Trevin by the neck there, pushing him away. As long as you don't choke him with your hands, you can push. He pushes him away and separates. Let's see if he's gonna come out with some leg kicks again. Ooh, another spinning. Another spinning back kick that didn't really land, but shocked Trevin a little. Yeah, it looked like you got him to stumble on that leg kick. Yeah, we got a lot of sweat on the canvas, so uh, you're, uh, you're, 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 you're really slippery. It's, your balance is really affected by how, uh, how slippery the canvas is. And that's why they can't really, you know, do anything in the clinch because they can't really grab onto each other. other. Trevin's really fighting for this, though. Uh, he's, he keeps on going for this takedown. 
But he's eating a lot of, a lot of elbows and a lot of body shots as he goes for this takedown. And you know, for Quack, it must be pretty frustrating that you got to constantly fight your opponent off you who, who goes in for those kind of takedowns. Yeah, all Quack's fights, like we said, uh, have been stoppages. And so this does got to be pretty frustrating for him that uh, the guy's not willing to stand and bang with him. Uh, but we uh, honestly, we did see that when they did stand and bang, the upper hand was for Quack with those leg kicks and that spinning back kick that we saw a couple times. Quack is trying to get that right hand under the neck there because he's slipping it in. you got to watch, got to pay attention to that. He's trying to get that right hand in. As Trevin goes all the way down, Quack's looking to push him away again. Now he's going to take his left hand. You always got to watch what choking arm these guys use. Uh, you know, if, if they're a right-handed guy, they're always going to go for that right, that right arm choke. Um, is he nailing some nice elbows again? He's doing whatever he can. See, this is what judges are looking at, Dave. They're really looking at who stays busy. Trevin does not score points just holding him on the on the cage. We want to see if those two big takedowns are, are deciding factors in this fight. As this fight does go the distance, the first time for Juan Ho Kwok. Decision. Quan Ho Quan. Go on, make some noise for Trevin Jones for coming out here and giving his whole heart.